All right, so um, you are a renter, and you live, what is the type of structure that you're living in? A uh, loft. A loft, so it's a, um, it looks like structure. a multi-unit building? Um, it's a single unit above a commercial building. Commercial property. Commercial property. Okay. Uh, three years. Okay. Um, and um, you are not from Macintosh County, right? Right. So how long have you been in Macintosh? Three years. Three years. Okay. And um, what brought you here? Uh, job opportunity. Job opportunity. Where did you move from? Atlanta, Georgia. No. Okay. Um, have you ever had? No. Or lived at anywhere that has rooftop solar? No. Okay. Um, do you think that is something that you would be interested in adding to your home? Um, once I buy, I would, yes. Okay, if you were a homeowner? If I was a homeowner. Invest in it? I might invest in it. Okay. What do you think are the limitations for investing in it as a renter? As a renter, um, I guess the return, I'm pretty much improving a property that I don't own, so okay. it'd be kind of... Right, it's one of those can't take it with you. Right. Can you use things? Right. Okay. Um, do you think that it would, or have you ever inquired about whether it would be allowed to install solar panels? I haven't solar inquired, panels? no. There are different variations of them. So some, you know, are like permanent uh, or are okay. part of the roof and then others are just attached and could be taken with you. Okay. So I suppose you could take it with you depending on what style right. it is. Um, so as a homeowner, um, you think you would consider rooftop solar. Um, what, um, what do you think are the cons the considerations like pros and cons to weigh if you were in that homeowner situation of mm. solar. homeowners um, pros the um, savings on your bills um, and this is just what I'm learning from the little bit of knowledge I mean I'm literature that I've come across um, pros um, I would think helping with the environment in some way, um, and pros, and from what I understand, you're able to somehow sell back some of that energy to the county that you live in, mm -hmm. so that could be a, a, a revenue stream. Mm -hmm. um, negatives uh, of cons, I'm hearing the initial cost, um, the, um, oh, and another thing with the pros, I don't know if this has changed. It's supposed to be a good write-off. Oh, like you get a tax break. Yeah, you get a tax break with it. Um, so um, cons, the initial um, construction of it costs. Mm -hmm. And pretty much that would be my only con I would think of. Okay. And I, I think I forgot to mention at the beginning, there are no right or wrong answers in any of this. Um, uh, um, I'm... I'm I'm not super knowledgeable about all of this myself mm -hmm. either, so I'm not, like, looking for, like, any particular answers. Just trying to find out what you, what individuals do know and, and what they believe about it. Um, so, like I said, no right or wrong answers for anything. Um, all right, so, and I, I also have not ever had rooftop solar myself. Um, my, I had family member aunt and uncle who had it installed when they got a pool put in mm -hmm. and it was just it like just ran the lights of the pool ran, so. it was a heated, heated mm -hmm. pool so it was just powering the stuff for the pool as opposed to when people get it installed and have it linked into the grid to right the grid so there i do know there are lots of different there are different styles of how you have it hooked up or if you're totally off the grid and depending on that have you ever, um, or do you know of if it's been available to you on your electric 
utility. Some places now have where you have a an option to like buy into their like solar cooperative. So you don't mm. have the solar yourself, but you are able to opt in for solar power that Georgia Power is using. I haven't noticed it on the bill. No. Okay. I don't know if they, I don't, I don't actually know if that's available in Macintosh or not. All right, so now we're going to talk about um, just kind of general perspective on where people do have solar. So we're going to start with a map of the United States. Mm -hmm. And you've got your thing there. And you can write notes, you can draw, whatever. But where in the United States do you think rooftop solar is present is being utilized um it doesn't have to be exact no, city like but i know i know california i know texas um seattle it's up here i believe yeah. Yeah, seattle and why do you think those places california i've seen them um and they were pretty much the start of pure energy with the solar um, um, what is it the fans the big fans um, mm -hmm. I mean I did a trip to California and rode the coast and I, they had a whole it was probably about 100 acres of just the solar the flat the whole fans okay so and that was back in the uh, yeah, yeah that was okay. back in the like in the early 90s that they had those so I'm okay. pretty sure they went for it same with Seattle they're more of a um, clean state. Okay. Um, I said Austin because Austin, t I went to Austin, Texas, and they are strictly the whole town is strictly clean. You can't have um, like they don't even allow plastic bags in okay. the grocery stores and so okay. forth. Um, and I've seen some in Georgia, and I would think Florida. So those would be the states that I would think would have them. The more sunnier states. <laughs> okay, yeah, sunnier states, yeah. and um, it sounds like those that have kind of a and clean initiative, being more mm -hmm. environmentally conscious mm -hmm. or, or clean energy focused. Okay, any any characteristics of the type of people that you think mm. used to have solar? Um, no, no real characteristics. I mean, we've been getting a lot of calls here from solar companies. That want to know if anybody in the area has enough acreage that they want to turn into a solar panel. So it's more for like farm. a solar farm. Yeah, okay. more but solar farm. But the, the individual um, solar. What type of person? Um, I would think a um, budget conscious person. Um, I would think also some people who want to live off the grid. Um, those you know more outdoorsy mm -hmm. yeah i think along those type those type of people okay so now same question but for um georgia mm -hmm. so where in georgia do you know from either firsthand experience seeing it mm. or just kind of generalizations where do you think would have solar if we are here i know there's one here and here, and generally, we're talking on the yeah, house. Just generalizations, yeah. Um, Focus mostly on. I mean, if you know of, the, of where there are solar farms, um, that's obviously what we would. The study is focusing mostly mm -hmm. on residential rooftop. I know they have some in Atlanta. Um, that would be it so far that I know of. If we're just talking, taking advantage of the. Having it on the ha on the roof of on the, the house. Roof. Okay. All right. And um, is this all from firsthand mm -hmm. seeing it? Yeah. Okay. In Atlanta, they have them on top of a lot of businesses. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I didn't notice that. Oh, well, so I'm not in Atlanta very much. <laughs> when I am, it's yeah. generally just on the interstate. Yeah, and they do it. I guess to offset some of the building costs. Yeah. 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 Okay. So do you do you know any friends or family that have solar? No, no, not on okay. not currently. Okay. Um, let me just look back, make sure we hit all the main points on that. 
So now we're gonna, um, I'm gonna ask some food questions. Where do you typically do most of your grocery shopping? Food um, all over. Um, just depends on, I kind of like my grandmother, I kind of get my fruit from here, my meat from here. Yeah, yeah. Um, so are you typically going to a grocery store or like a Costco? Or a well, Walmart Costco or doesn't benefit me because it's yeah. just me by myself. Yeah. Um, Same. But, um, uh, or just going to the convenience store. Or yeah, eat I've been out doing. I do eat out a lot more now because yeah. it's just buying stuff and cooking doesn't. I end up throwing it away. So yeah. I've been more finding it's just more economical for me to just to buy. Um, fruit wise, I would go to Winn Dixie. Um, they seem to have a lot more better selection for some reason. Okay. Um, if I want to really, yeah, I go to uh, Publix sometime. They're kind of pricey, but um, okay. typically, a, a typically grocery I store. went to grocery store. Yeah. Okay. And how often do you go grocery shopping? It could be mm. times per week or times per month, or I would say or daily. <laughs> <Or like laughs> really daily. Like, what do I need to eat today? Yeah, <laughs> it's really almost daily. Honestly, uh, I would say at least three times a week. I'm just like going there to get what I eat today. Yeah. Yeah, I have gotten um, more in that almost. It's not really daily, but a lot more frequently than I used yeah. to. Yeah. I look at my. Even very much at home. And I look at my bill. What am I going to eat today? You know. Um. So if um. So if you do, if you like realize, oh, I need milk for the morning today on the way home. Mm -hmm. Are you typically going to stop at a grocery store or at a convenience store? A grocery store. And then closest, this isn't a whole lot different for you because you live near, mm -hmm. near work, I don't think. But the closest place to buy food is near your work or near your home? Work. Both. Describe your um, your food routine, like your daily meal routine. Um, I do, uh, some, some weeks I meal prep. Um. But for the most part, during the week, I am doing salad. Okay. okay. <laughs> so, um, Monday through Friday, I try to eat light. I'm trying to get in shape and all that good stuff. So, Monday through Friday, I eat very healthy. On the weekends, I kind of indulge, indulge a little bit. A little bit. Yeah. yeah. Are you a three meal a day? A no. Five meal a day? No, one, uh, meal a day. one meal. One meal. Yeah, one meal. That would fall over. <laughs> well, it's 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 one meal, water, fruit, you know, but so one. You have some snacks. Yeah, I have snacks in between. Okay. A lot of fruit. A lot of fruit. Yeah. Fruit yeah. and snacks. A lot okay. of fruits and um, yeah, granola and granola stuff like that. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you're snacking on on granola and fruit. Um, and so that one meal a day, is that your salad, or you mean you have a more substantial meal? Yeah, I have a more substantial meal. Yeah, and it depends on how, how I'm feeling that day. What sure. to eat. Yeah. Some days you just, you know, we're outside a lot, so mm -hmm. eating heavy meals. Right, especially in the summer. Right, yeah. right. So as long as I'm hydrated. Right. So okay. a good meal, I might have a salad with a um, canister of um, watermelon grapes, um, yogurt. And that's pretty filling. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't like to eat heavy stuff when it's hot either. Um, so how many times a week would you say you're cooking meals? It's gone down tremendously. I used to be I used to be once every Sunday. I would cook heavily and just box it for yeah, the week. Yeah, times of the week. That's kind of what but, I started uh, to do. But then I found myself throwing a lot away. <laughs> so yeah. I kind of cut back on that too, but. I like to cook, so I would say once, once a week. I mean, once every Sunday, so I'll have it, whatever that is. Okay. All right. And we were just feeding you. Mm -hmm. All right. So you're the one making all the food decisions in the house. <laughs> yep. So now tell me what going to the grocery store looks like. Are you, um, like, 
a list maker and you go in and just get those things? Um, Do you kind of have a pattern for how you move through the store? Or Yeah, I mean, it, it just depends on... Um, what re, like, I know I'm definitely going toward the little ready-made salads. Mm-hmm. Um, pattern-wise, it's usually the stuff that's on sale. Yeah. Because I know... Right. <laughs> so... I know I'm going to, I know I'm going to, I know the date to eat it is coming up quick, so, and I know I'll eat it, so. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's mostly been where the, the where deals. the, where the deals are. I understand that. All right. Are there um, any challenges that you face with accessing food or? or mm, no uh, real challenges. Like, like for me, I have some food restrictions. Okay. You know, Gluten free and moving here to our pork area, area your pork pork area. Limited. Yeah, they must uh, yeah. they now have an actual little section of yeah, products. right. It's new, um, but you yeah. know, compared to um, you know where I, compared to options where I had been living, it's kind of tough. To no, no one has a Whole Foods and uh, yeah. so um, so it could be. Know challenges like that, like if you have a dietary restriction or a dietary yeah. need, and it's difficult to access those things here, or it could be a challenge like I can't afford to buy groceries and there's not a food bank in town. You know. Oh, um, kind of no, I'm not to the point where I need a food bank, but <laughs> it's kind of close. I mean, just the price of price of food continues to rise, and uh, when I can, it's separated on my bank account, food, everything, food goes into a. a, a, a yeah, pie graph. Pretty good budget. Yeah, and yeah. so you can tell, like, wow, as it mm-hmm. going up. Yeah. So um, I think just prices of stuff here is just, mm-hmm. I don't know, it's just because of their exclusivity that they're the only, only one on the block. Oh, yeah. You know. I thought about that. So um, I do find better prices in Brunswick, oh, maybe yeah. because they have more competition. Yeah. Yeah, and eating out around here is, I mean... I, I don't Twelve dollars at least. At least, at least, yeah. yeah. At least. And you would think it'd be a little less, um, especially uh, when you're getting it right out the water over here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, I noticed that I have been eating out a lot more than I used to because I'm not doing my the meal planning and having stuff ahead of time. And right. So I'm like, oh, I really need to eat, so I go out, and then it's like I just spent twenty five dollars on lunch. I know. Like, how did that I know. Happen? I know, but. You spend eighty shopping, yeah. You know? So yeah. it's like yeah. okay. So any anything else that you'd say is a challenge for you with getting? Um, I try to eat healthy. Um, I was doing a vegetarian for about a year, okay. and um, eating healthy seems to be more expensive than um, eating bad. Yeah, That's the only right. thing. And your choices of what you can um, get are, are definitely limited.